White supremacist overthrew Wilmington's government in 1898, which resulted in thousands of African Americans being killed or fleeing the city. Before the massacre, African Americans held high positions in city government, and they also worked as police officers and firefighters serving their community. After the massacre, though, it took over six decades for the first black firefighter to be hired at the Wilmington Fire Department. Today, WECT's Raina Crooms had the chance to sit down and talk with Mr. Russell Jackson to learn more about his experience serving the Wilmington community. Yes, Fran, ja for Jackson, it wasn't about being the first, but simply getting the job done. He says opening the doors for others to follow in his footsteps wasn't so bad either. And the only thing you had to do was step in your boots and pull your suspenders up and you would dress. Mm -hmm. Then you hit the pole. Meet Russell the Jackson, the, uh, the first the black firefighter hired in Wilmington after the 1898 massacre. I didn't really understand what, it, what had taken place because all through high school, we never, I never heard anything about that. You know, you never heard anything. No one spoke about that. A dark time for African Americans in Wilmington, but over the years, times changed. It took over six decades for Jackson to make history. I had this interview and uh, I had this mustache, which I still have. And they said, uh, if you turn, cut that mustache off, we'll give you a job. And I said, it's gone. So they hired me. It was never his goal to make history, but he opened the door for many to follow in his footsteps. An overall good experience. Jackson looks back at the time fondly. The people, the job itself, it was, it was exciting. And he's happy to see how things have changed over the years. It's all about change. And uh, it shows that... Uh, Times are changing, maybe not as fast and quick as we wanted to, but they are changing. And although he was the first, he said he never felt alone. The team was all for one. Yeah, well, we got along together, although I was one among, other, uh, one among 50 maybe. We was all one group. A group that made history and set an example for years to come. Jackson says his favorite part of the job was the training and the camaraderie between him and the rest of the firefighters. Fran, he says it was never about race, but simply keeping the community safe. All right, Raina, thanks so much. All right, let's check out some of the uh, high temperatures today.